Yeah. yeah, thank you so much. Now, let's take a quick uh, review of uh, Team Nigeria so far at the Paris Olympics. Uh, the minister, of course, one of the things he said last night was that medals or not, Team Nigerian athletes have been superb at the Paris Games. So what do you make of that uh, as we look ahead to, to this event uh, for uh, Nigeria? Well, uh, personally, I was uh, commend uh, the Nigerian athletes for performing well at the Olympics, uh, despite uh, little or no encouragement from anywhere. And I also uh, commend those people who have invested heavily in the athletes. That's, uh, those are the major stakeholders of the various federations. Uh, we know what uh, the has invested hugely in uh, the cyclists, the lady. We also know the effort of the MBBF in ensuring that uh, we have some of the best players uh, come from uh, outside the country to represent uh, Nigeria. And also, if you look at the progress of uh, Fever Philly, you will see that Fever Philly is a product of the National Youth Games that uh, was uh, reinstated by past administration to this present administration. We also see Samuel uh, Ogazi, the young guy who qualified for the semi-finals. Uh, he was discovered in Kaduna. So was those people who have taken their time to discover these athletes and uh, churn them out to Nigeria and uh, representing Nigeria at uh, the Olympic Games. So kudos to those uh, real stakeholders who have invested their time and their money in these athletes. Yeah, now, uh, of course, uh, yeah, I, I like the way you brought that in because there's a lot of questions we'll be asking after the Olympics when a review is done. Uh, so much, uh, really, that I think we need to do. Much investment we need to do, really. Now, uh, But uh, let's talk about Team Nigeria today, day 13 of the Olympics. Ace Brumer and two other ladies, Ruth Uzora, of course, uh, will be part of it uh, in the long jump event. There's wrestling. Odwan Yadi Koroye is fighting. And uh, then there's a final for uh, one of the wrestlers, of course, right there. The relay team also are starting their quest. Uh, what uh, uh, areas do you think that um, Team Nigeria can look forward to today in terms of us trying to get our first medal in Paris? Well, I feel Nigeria, uh, we are definitely going to win a medal in this uh, long jump event uh, because of the pedigree of athletes we have there. Uh, we can actually spring up a surprise there. And also, I'll be expecting something spectacular from Nigerian weightlifter in person of uh, Rofia Tufola Shadi Lawal. She's a two times African Games uh, champion. She's a Commonwealth champion. And she's also an African champion. This girl has uh, the potential. I've seen her train on uh, so many occasions. And I feel she can uh, KG category and also uh, Ade Kuroye, she has been giving a, a will I say favorable tie this time around. She will be facing Drea, she defeated uh, five years ago at the African Championship. Uh, the Algeria was able to qualify for the Olympics because of Dwayo had qualified already uh, last year at the World Championship where she won bronze medal. So I see Odwayo progressing into the finals of uh, this year's event. It was quite unfortunate the uh, blessing of Buru Dudu yeah. could not uh, win a medal because I had already projected three medals coming from the wrestling uh, events at the Olympics. But quite unfortunate, uh, Buru Dudu, the first Nigerian wrestler to win an Olympic medal, could not produce uh, a medal for all this time around. I respect her so much. She's one of our finest, yeah. a 15-time African champion for that matter. And uh, whether she wins a medal or not, I think. Okay. Uh, of course. Uh, hopefully, uh, Dari, I uh, will be back uh, so that I can complete uh, his thoughts. Uh, network, of course, playing pranks with us. Uh, but let's cross over to you now and bring in Isaac Kepper on the show this morning. Uh, if uh, network allows us, we. Uh, reconnect back with um, Dari so I can conclude his thoughts. Now, Isaac, uh, good morning. Uh, good to have you this Thursday morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, of course, uh, Team Nigeria so far, uh, not uh, really much to share. Uh, the D Tigers did well, becoming the first African team to make this quarterfinals of the Olympics. 
Uh, but other than that, uh, then Toby, of course, is true to the semi-finals of the 100 meters of this event. Now, today, it's looking like a good day. I mean, yesterday we started with um, Oops, uh, or two nights ago, actually. It's looking good for us today, uh, the uh, weightlifting event. We have the long jump final. How confident are you that uh, finally, today might be the day that Team Nigeria will be registered on the medal table? Let's see how that pans out. Uh, let's cross back to Joss now and just get concluding thoughts from Dari Kuti on the show this morning. Uh, Dari, I know you're a grassroots person. Uh, national Youth Games, National Sport Festival. I mean, recently you're in Bauchi for Bauchi State uh, Sports Festival. Uh, you, most of this, some of these athletes that are in Paris now representing Nigeria, you knew when they were picked. What has been our challenge really with uh, grassroots sports development? Why can't we get it right to uh, have new talent, train them properly. Then, secondly, I want you to speak to the Annette uh, issue, the lady that just won uh, Ama Silver for USA. Uh, you recall that in Tokyo, there were issues. She was willing to compete for Nigeria. She's a national and African games record holder in, uh, of course, the Ama True. And she just won Silver for US. What really happened there? That uh, she uh, switched allegiance back to the US. But first, uh, I want you to speak on this grassroots uh, issue, uh, where it has really been a challenge for us. Well, I'm going to lay the blame on uh, the respective goals of the 36 states of uh, in Nigeria. When it's time for the youth games and national sports festival, we beg, we clap beg these people to release funds for other sports. We look up. I've done the statistics already. There are some states they don't have up to ten athletes under their payroll, and there are some states they pay athletes less than five thousand naira stipends. So it's it's not fair. And when you go to some of these states, you see that in a month, an NPFL team gets at least forty million. If you just 
40, 50, 40 million naira in other sports, you are going to get medals. So it is it is sad, it is disheartening that you see people coming to train. Most of these athletes you see training at various stadia in, in the in the country. They are under the payroll of the state government or even the local government. The only time these athletes get stipends or even prize money is when the National Sport Festival is approaching and they give them contracts. There are some states that don't have uh, athletes, they go to borrow. So it's very, very disappointing. So it's time for uh, the various state governors to take. Wow. Okay. The network really uh, is playing pranks with us. Uh, but I, I know you definitely, uh, of course, um, conclude on those thoughts. And also, okay, uh, continue now, Dari. You can continue, Dari. Yes, it's, it's of the state governors, they need to take okay. sport uh, seriously because it's a uh, disheartening. It's very, very disheartening. Football cannot be collecting 40 million, 50 million, and athletes uh, that participate in wrestling, uh, athletics, judo, will, will go with nothing. When it's time for national sport festival, other sports makes the states proud. But when it's time for them to train, nobody remembers them. And that is why you see some of these athletes, they go outside the country and they excel. So I believe starting from next year, the governors need to start taking other sports seriously. Yeah, definitely. I agree with you. Uh, the next post festival, of course, in Ogun State. Uh, and again, yeah. on, on the issue of uh, Annette, the issue of the U.S. Uh, athletes. Yeah. Uh, I, yes, I must say she was not asked before. She is uh, a U. <laughs> she's a citizen of the U.S. But decided to switch her allegiance to Nigeria okay. in 2020 to represent the, the country. Uh, but it was quite unfortunate that she could not represent us because she missed out. Okay. Well, uh, of course, uh, Dari. Uh, well, yeah, there was out of competition test. Thank you so much. Uh, that was Dari Kuti from uh, Joss Plateau State this morning. Thank you so much for your time.